what is the angle to which the balls rise and they will stop there. So if they have the same mass, then they rise to the same height. And then the picture looks like this. The tension on the left ball is to the right. The electrical force is to the left. Mg is down. And then uh, the, the, on the right ball, the electrical force is to the right. The tension is to the left. And Mg is down. So what we said is if that theta, if this is the theta angle, then this, that's the same as this angle. And then I have T cosine of theta is the vertical component must equal to mg. T cosine theta is mg. And then T sine theta is the equal to the electrical force when, they, when it stops, which is kq1, q2 over d squared. And then we divided these two equations. And we got tangent theta is kq1, q2 over d squared mg. Then we looked at it. It made sense. The bigger the charges of each one, the bigger the angle was. And then the smaller the mass of each one, the uh, bigger the angle was also. And then we expressed the distance d in terms of the length of the string. The length of the string was 0.6 meters, non-conducting string. So the distance d is double the distance of this triangle, which is 0.6 times sine theta. So it would be 1.2 times sine theta. So I put that into the distance. And I got 1.2 squared sine squared theta, then moved over the sine squared theta to the left. And I got sine cubed theta over cosine theta. That's equal to kq1, q2 over 1.44 mg. Then you put in all the numbers. You put this into the solver. And you get um, 89.99 degrees. You said, what, how, what was your question? Just go to solver. Yeah. Go to solver. Go to math. Math button. Go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Solver. Press enter. And then put in that equation. Sine cubed theta. To do sine cubed theta, you got to do parentheses. Sine of theta or sine of x. You could do any variable. Parentheses sine of x to the power 3. Then you say that's equal to 5.7397959 times 10 to the sixth. Now the angle made sense in this case because what that is telling us is that based on their masses, the two milligrams and their charges, three millicoulombs, six millicoulombs, these charges are so strong and they're not heavy, they're going to push each other as far out as they can, which is the biggest it could be is 90 degrees. How about if I change their charges now? What if I change their charges so that instead of 3 millicoulombs, 3 microcoulombs and 6 microcoulombs? Let's say I keep the mass the same. So now the charge of each one is or 10 to the 3 power of 10, uh, power of 10 is less. But the mass is the same. So what that does is that makes this 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the minus 6. So that's going to make this what? A 10 to the, actually, it's just going to be, there's going to be no power of 10 now, right? 10 to the 9th, 10 to the 6th, that's 10 to the 3rd. 10 to the minus 6 is 10 to the minus 3. 10 to the minus 3 is going to cancel. So there's going to be no power of 10. So go back to solver. And just change the power of 10. Get rid of the power of 10. It's good to keep something the same and then change another thing to see how the answer changes as a result, to see the behavior of, to see if it makes sense. 80 degrees, I get. OK? Now, does that make sense? Now they're going to push each other, but the charge of each is much less than when it was uh, before. 
So it's going to go up, still going to go up quite high, 80 degrees. You got that? You got that? No? You don't know how to get it? Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you later. Okay. How about let's go one more power of 10, uh, 10 nano to see the, uh, well, how that changes it. Nano coulombs, nano coulombs. Keep the mass the same. So become 10 to the minus 9, 10 to the minus 9. So that makes the power of 10 here what? So here the angle was 80 degrees for when they were micro coulombs. And then now if I put nano, this is going to be 10 to the minus 6, right? Go back to solver. Put 10 to the minus 6. So you could just do insert times 10 to the power negative 6. What do we get? One point oh. Oh, the angle went way down, one degree. They stopped there, you see? So it makes perfect sense, huh? The less the charge of each, the, the, the more the mass, the less the charge. They just go up, in this case, and one degree, they stop. OK? So this gives us a good illustration of the power of the charges. You know, the bigger they are, the more they push each other. And uh, the power of getting an equation like that and then putting it in a solver and then seeing what the answer is. So we're going to use a TI uh, a little later on, too. We're going to do integration using the TI. Okay.